welcome back. We're probably around about two, two kilometres into this hike, heading up to one of the crags in Northumberland here. And what a night we've got, honestly, it is phenomenal. We're forecast around about five kilometres an hour, clear skies, sunshine, what more can you ask for? I'm out with a friend, Davy. It's been about a year and a half maybe since we were last out, so we're gonna have a good chin wag on the top here. Um, and it should be a lush camp. Let's finish this climb. Right, well I think this is the spot, so let's get set up. Quite unique thing about this top tent notch is when you're putting the poles up there's little grommets in the top here which the top bits stick into so when I first got it I was a little bit worried but it's absolutely fine reinforced looks great and works great lights starting to fade a little bit now so I need to get cracked on but it's bloody lovely This also has a dual zipper for both ventilation. So put this in. Then push it in. So the tent's up, it's a top tent notch been through some tough times with me this thing if you haven't seen my previous video this survived 66 mile an hour gusts strong as an ox two trekking poles I think it's around 900 grams but I really like it a lot of spa space inside in terms of vestibule space so let's get the other stuff in so like I said before this is the top tent notch I've got a Tyvek ground sheet and the setup is very very similar to the winter setup that I normally use. So the UGQ quilt, Thermarest X Therm and a couple of pillows to pop that up and that keeps me toasty warm. Along with a down jacket as well from Alp Kit which is uh, a great piece of kit to be perfectly honest. Something I use uh, probably September onwards when it gets a bit cold but yeah we're in for a cracking night by the looks of it I'm hoping to get some stars listen how quiet it is ah the wind catches it's got big areas yeah I think if you had so much sewn in with a guy line another four guy lines would be Patch on. brilliant aye that's yeah. what you mean like they're quite low as well but it holds, it held sturdy in 30-40 mile an hour winds, I mean, didn't budge, just flapped. 
Ah, you can maybe just get one or two on there, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Put your guy in the same place. Uh -huh. To be fair, they didn't budge. None of this budged. The sides flapped a bit. Yeah. It looks good quality, like. Aye. I mean, it's not it's a hilly berg. Once you've had a hilly, <laughs> you, there's, there's no like them, is there? <laughs> no, there's not. You just you kind of compare. There's not. There's all of the tents and then there's that. That's got two vents in the roof. Yeah. One there. there. One either side. Ah, right, okay, I see, I see. Let's have a get yourself in if you want. Feel free to get yourself in. <laughs> Guys, this is the Pioneer by Terranova Wild Country. Roughly around 2.1 kilograms. Davy's been out in a couple of times. It's had about 40 mile an hour, did you say? Yeah, it was good and 40. About 40 and it was strong. He has pointed out some of the weak spots around uh, some of the Gaio points um, and some of these bigger mesh panel, uh, sorry, these solid panels which take a little bit of the brunt, which you could do with some extra guy outs maybe. But I like the look of it. It's nice. Nice half, half mesh, half full winter in there. There's bags of space. Absolutely bags of space in there, isn't it? Wow. Uh, loads of room for one. Impressive up. Might have just got a So you can see the light has faded very quickly. It's probably around 10 to 5 now. Uh, along with that, the weather. Along with that, the temperature has absolutely dipped. So I'm going to get a coffee on, I think. Get warmed up. And then uh, I'm going to start looking to get some night shots. Because it's looking great. Whew. Gonna go for one of the uh, contact coffee, red on, five coffee bags, nice these. And then some milk. Right, so that's it boiled. Oh, look forward to this. Coffee bags are excellent. Just need to leave them in for about three to five minutes, I believe it is. And then I'm gonna stick a bit of milk in. And then I've got a couple of treats, some brownies. But what is still, right? There's not a breath of air. And the stars are coming out. We we're hoping to get the Milky Way that's just gonna come banding across here. Oh. So the temperature, like I said before, has dropped ever so slightly there, but pretty comfortable. We're just uh, using some of the apps on the iPhone just to look at some of the shooting stars and a couple of the planets, and I think we're going to get some star shots, to be honest. But uh, such a pleasant night, as you can hear. Minimal wind, it's everything you'd want. 
Only thing I'd say is we've got a, a waxing moon phase which is just having a little bit of an impact on the Milky Way but well I've witnessed something special first time for me there is a meteor shower that's ongoing at the moment called the Orionids and um, we've been using that photo pills app so thank you Outdoor Lifestyle um, he put me onto that and this is the first time I've ever seen those and it you know seeing them burn up in the sky is actually pretty special seeing shooting stars seeing those types of things before but um, yeah, me and Davey are just relaxing and just watching these meteors scream past and burn up. What a night. What a night. Well, I'm shaking a little bit to be perfectly honest. This is, uh, what a night this has been. Davey's my lucky charm, I swear he's coming up every time I've gone out. We've had meteors, we've had the Milky Way, crystal clear skies, and we've just had the aurora visible to the naked eye, which is something I've never witnessed before. The camera has picked up some stunning photos, and it's just mesmerising to kind of witness it and see it, and try and understand what it is. So I'm going to stick those photos up now. Good morning. Good morning to you as well. Morning. It's round about half six, quarter seven. And uh, that was a really, really good night's sleep. Still, condensation is so bad. Not a breath of wind, so. Um, temperatures were dropping which caused the condensation so everything's actually soaking in here the uh, quilt is pretty bad but nothing you can really do and it's uh, such an amazing night such an amazing night and it looks like we've got a little bit of an inversion happening just down into the valley there so, it's time to get up and get packed away. So Davey's been up since about six. He's just had himself a little brew. Had a little bit longer in bed. Um, but like I was saying before, condensation is an absolute nightmare. But there's nothing really you can do about it when there's minimal wind and you're breathing. Just got to get on with it. But yeah, just going to pack down. Um, we're going to enjoy the rest of this sun coming up. So I'll give you a little look that way. Soaking, absolutely soaking. I 
that's me all packed away now all sorted leave no trace wherever you are you know the score it's uh it's been quite a special camp one of the best night skies i've ever had meteor showers milky way and then the aurora visible to the naked eye is is something i've always wanted to see so very very lucky dave is just packing down now um, but we're ready to head down it's been an amazing camp thank you for sticking by if you've been watching this all the way through and until next time peace out <laughs>